We have Alex and Amanda here at Movements for Life. This is our restorative segment where we're going to focus on doing some pivots. So we're going to start with sagittal plane. So we're going to be stepping anterior and posterior. And with the arm reach, as Amanda steps posterior or back, which is going to reach down, which is going to put load on her left hamstring. And then as she steps forward and holds, she's going to get a nice load through her anterior hip. So right now we're just focusing on a straight sagittal plane step. And this is pretty much going to line everything up right in the middle in terms of the anterior hip load and the hamstring load. So in doing both sides, um, again, the stance leg is going to be the um, influenced leg, not the stepping leg. So in this case, Amanda's right leg is really the working leg. So right hamstring when she's back, right anterior hip as she steps forward. So now we're going to dissipate the forces just a little bit. We're going to give it an anterior or a medial and a lateral kind of um, dissipation by having her step um, into a posterior and same side lateral step. So that's going to get into her left medial hamstring. And as she steps into an opposite side um, lateral combination anterior, that's going to get into her lateral hip on the left side. So think about how that starts to kind of it open up the sphere in terms of the load. Again, also reaching super tall with her arms, so it's going to get a nice abdominal wall component, great T-spine, and there you have it. So in going posterior for that step, it's going to get again to that medial hamstring, and just even out doing both sides. And now we have to bring it the opposite way, so instead of stepping to the same side lateral, got to go opposite side lateral with that posterior step, and now that's going to get into the lateral hamstring with her posterior step. And then as she steps into her same side lateral with anterior, that's now going to go into that um, groin, so kind of medial anterior hip. So in doing all three of these different pivots, you're going to get a nice um, spherical load on both the anterior hip as well as that posterior hip. How's that feel? It feels good. That looks good. If you feel any low back as you're reaching overhead, um, you would need to tuck your pelvis more so you get less lumbar extension so you can really get that hip to displace forward and that will put that load right on where it needs to be. Awesome. Thank you. It's no problem. <laughs>